I wish I started this vlog last night when I impulsively cut my own hair in my bathroom. Um, but do you like it? I cut like little side bangs. And then I also chopped like five inches off my hair. But it's off in a ponytail so you can't see. I, as you could tell, am feeling some feelings. I impulsively just chopped my hair. Today is the last day of my school semester and I just finished my last assignment. And while I should be really happy and excited about that, and I am, I'm also just like, I'm in some kind of funk recently. I've been having some drama and just trying to figure things out. It's not very fun. And you know, I like to pick up my camera when I want to feel better because it always helps me when I'm just like talking to myself for a few days. So that's what this is going to be. You guys really, really loved the last time I did this, um, my relearning how to be alone vlog. And I told you I would do it again and then I didn't. So this is me doing it again. <laughs> I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and the only thing I bought was this chocolate sheet cake and I ate the entire thing Besides this little piece that I'm gonna eat right now I originally went to get the vanilla bean one if you've ever had it It's actually the best thing I've ever had in my life and usually I like chocolate more fuck <laughs> But they didn't have the vanilla bean one and I was so sad about it because I walked 25 minutes just to get it. But they did have the chocolate one, and obviously I enjoyed that too. Anyway, I am bored and lonely and annoyed and feeling a lot of emotions. And I wish so badly that I could just like tell you all of my problems. But unfortunately, I'm not going to do that because I know I would regret it. And some things you just have to keep to yourself. <laughs> but if you're going through some stuff, if you're not feeling too hot, you should hang out with me in this vlog. We'll keep each other company. I haven't left my apartment since I went to Trader Joe's to get that cake. I kind of want to go on a walk right now. I have nowhere to go, but if I don't go on walks every so often, I start losing my mind. I, I need to, I'm just thinking I'm going to go walk around my campus and I'll bring you and I'll like show you things. I love going on walks because I wear my beats and no one talks to me. Um, tonight I need to clean my apartment. I can't even hear myself. Tonight I need to clean my apartment because it's a fucking mess. So you're also going to help me do that. And then also I have a lot to talk to you about because post my instagram story like things you want me to talk about like deep things and you guys are saying such good stuff and i can't wait to speak my truth guys this is my favorite building i used to have math in here ew that's not why it's my favorite but look how pretty it is i have math right there <laughs> i don't know why i got this I'm sitting outside on my campus. I've never vlogged on my campus before because it's awkward. I don't regret my decision of getting Starbucks, but I am gonna be up all night, but that's okay. I'm scared people I know are gonna be out here and that'll be really awkward. <laughs> hey guys, just got home from my walk. Finally happened. I knew a break town was on the horizon. I don't think I've ever cried on YouTube before. <laughs> this is just me being real. Anyways, I need to clean my apartment really bad and I know I'll feel better once I do it I'm gonna calm down and then I'm gonna clean my room. Oh, just give me a second Even on my worst day did I deserve pain all the hell you gave It's literally been like an hour and I can't get it together. I'm just a mess <laughs> Considering this is the first time I've had an emotional Like reaction to a situation that literally happened like weeks ago <laughs> And I don't know why I'm so emotional now But I ran my dishwasher and I cleaned my kitchen lit a candle and I made my bed and cleaned my desk and now I'm gonna clean my bathroom before I crawl into bed for the night and read my book, I want to show you some of my skincare that I've been doing. I have pretty clear skin, but when I do get pimples, it's like cystic acne that leaves a really long lasting scar. So I have like scarring all around this area. You can really see it like here, which is why I love using these kinds of serums and stuff because it really focuses on dark spots. So I'm sure you've seen these products. Everyone's been talking about them on social media. It's the Goodall Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum and Dark Spot Care Cream. So first I use the serum, which 
I just pump a little bit into my finger. So this can be used in the morning and night. It takes like precautions to prevent you from getting dark spots from like the sun and hyperpigmentation, but also reduces the ones you already have, which is what I really focus on when I'm doing my skincare. So it's really important to me because I don't want that to scar for the rest of my life. And it's even safe for like really sensitive skin. So it's made with like real fruits. It's really like the farm to your skin. Like they use like real fruit to make it which I think is really cool. And then I'll use the cream, which I really like this stuff. Texture is like, it's like jelly, but it also is like super fast absorbing so it doesn't feel like gross on your skin. And this also helps with dark spots, which is why I'm focusing it right here. And it has like these little like beads or like capsules in it of vitamin C. Like, do you see that? How there's like the little beads in there and they like melt right away on your skin, but it has vitamin C in it. But yeah, um, there's an Amazon sale going on right now where you can get these products. So I'll link it in the description where you can shop like all good all products for up to 40% off, which is an amazing deal. So I'll definitely link it down below if you want to check it out. But yeah, that's what I've been using on my dark spots. Thank you so much good all for sponsoring today's video. Now I'm going to crawl in bed, read my book, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day, fresh start. Today would be the day that it rains in Arizona. Like, it rains like five times a year and it, it would rain while I'm already sad. I realized this morning while I was making my coffee and stuff, I was thinking, I was like, wait, it's December 3rd, which means I've technically kind of been doing Vlogmas. I'm gonna do like a little bit of makeup right now. I just wanna feel good about myself. And I thought while I was doing it, we could talk about some of the things you guys said on my Instagram story because I asked for things to talk about a few days ago because I was not in the mindset of giving advice. Um, I kind of was just like, tell me your guys' situations and what you want me to talk about because let me prove to myself that we're all going through something, which unfortunately it seems like we are. A lot of them ended up being about friendship. This was like perfect timing, something I wanted to talk about. Like the first one is advice on toxic friendships and when to leave, especially when you've been best friends for 10 plus years. This is such a hard thing for, to answer because it's obviously situational, but all this situational is just my opinion. I've had my fair share of friendship breakups throughout my life of people like in the moment who I thought were my best friends and then they like betray you or they do something and I just can't be their friend anymore. I feel like, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm just talking about myself right now, but and then I'll get into your question, but show you that I have some experience with this. You're not alone. I've had people that I thought were my best friends in the entire world who like have done things to me where I'm just like, that's like the last straw. Like you've done things to me before to show that you weren't the best of friend, but this is like the final nail in the coffin. Like I would have never done this to you. When it gets to the point of something like, I would have never done that to you. Like, how could you do that to me? Um, that's when I know it's time to leave. And this has happened to me probably three times in three separate friendships. I always say that my friendships work in like a clock. Like every two years, one of my friendships like blows up. And it's actually so sad because it's always me that ends up being the one to pull away. I hold my friends to a pretty high standard of like loyalty and respect and how I want to be treated by them because it's how I treat them and I want that in return and I know it's what I deserve and like my other friends do give me that loyalty and respect so if you don't why would I keep you around like if it's something that I just can't get over and I'm like that was so awful <laughs> of you how could you do that to me when you know how it would make me feel especially if they don't even apologize to you or like they brush it off or they think it's not a big deal that's really when I know because it's like you even care about me or my feelings Feelings. It doesn't matter how long you've been friends. If you've been friends for 10 years, two years, two months, if someone does things to you that you just think are unforgivable and they're bringing you more trouble than they're bringing you peace, it's time to go. I've experienced this a few times where I'm like, okay, I really don't want to lose them as a friend. Like we have some, such good memories and I thought we were such good friends and I thought we were going to be friends for life. But now that you've done this to me, it's like, why would I want you to be my friend for life? Like. It kind of is just like that romanticized ideal in your head being like, oh, I thought they were gonna be here forever. Like I thought we were, our kids were gonna know each other and like we were gonna be friends forever, but sometimes that just doesn't work out, unfortunately. The way I always go about it though, which I feel like I need to work on, but also it's like how I give myself the peace of mind is I just walk away. I pull away, I distance myself until we're not friends at all. Because I don't want a big confrontation. I don't want a big fight unless it's necessary. And I think I've gotten way better at this throughout my life of just like knowing how to pick my battles. Like when is it worth 
confronting and speaking your mind and telling them what's wrong and when is it worth just walking away it doesn't matter how long you guys have been friends and it's really unfortunate but if it's a toxic friendship and you know it's not good for you it's just like a relationship leave you can do so much better you can find better friends that aren't gonna make you feel that way like friends shouldn't be adding stress to your life that is completely the opposite of having a friend a lot of people are saying like how to get over a friendship how to grieve a friendship breakup stuff like that so i feel like that goes hand in hand with that obviously it's sad when you break up with a friend because it's like it's different than a relationship where you can't be like oh let's just stay friends or like you try to soften the blow it's like when you're done with a friend you know you're done there's not, not like a step level i feel like a lot of my friends that i've had friendship breakups with we've turned into acquaintances a lot of people were saying too or like i saw a few comments where is it like people being like i wish i had more girlfriends i have so many guy friends and i feel like i can relate to this and i i actually hate it because you seem like the type of girl that's like i just get along better with guys and i've really been thinking about this recently because it's so not true when people say that and what i've learned and i believe this to my core is when girls are friends with guys they hold them to such a lower emotional standard than they hold their girlfriends like when you're friends with a boy you don't expect a lot from him you don't expect him to be emotionally there for you all the time you don't open up and be vulnerable with your deepest darkest secrets obviously this is a generalization but you're not as vulnerable at, with your guy friends so you don't stay up late at night talking about your trauma and all of your issues and like really get to know each other it's kind of just like a more surface level friendship of like having fun together and that's why they consider it less drama to be friends with boys but that's because you don't give them the ability to cause drama because they can hurt your feelings and it won't hurt you as bad because they don't really know you deep down they don't know what hurts your feelings but if your girlfriend were to betray you in the way your guy friends do like say they hang out with someone you hate your girlfriend knows why you hate them they know what this person did to you and so them hanging out with them is a bigger betrayal than your guy friends who just know you don't like each other hanging out with them am i making sense and recently i've been thinking about this because i'm like that's not okay it's like that shouldn't be how it is like i shouldn't be lowering my friendship standard just because i expect less from you like why then then you're not really my close friend like it completely changed my perspective because no now i am gonna hold you to that same standard because if one of my girlfriends acted the way you're acting i would not be her friend anymore so why i have been letting this slide for years and years and years like i'm not gonna do that anymore if you can't meet my requirements and standards for friendship then i'm not gonna be your friend i don't care if you're a boy or a girl or whatever you are because i deserve better than that and that's been a learning lesson i'm just i'm telling myself you deserve to have good people around you who are going to be there for you who care about you and respect you as much as you care and respect for them you can't keep letting things slide just because you don't want to be lonely or you just want to have friends if they're making you upset more than they're making you happy then they're not good friends like this girl said advice on constantly giving but never receiving and how to stop doing this what usually happens to me is when i'm in a friendship i'll feel like okay i don't know if they really do they really care about me like do they care if i was here or not do they do they want me to hang out with them do they even invite me like i know we've been friends for so long but like i never feel like cared for and then i try to overcompensate that by over caring like planning fun things to do asking to hang out all the time paying for things doing things that i'm like okay maybe this will make them care about me more because they'll see how much i care and they'll be like oh my god that was so nice of her to do that and they'll realize that they care about me that's really sad then i sit back like i am right now being like what you should not have to do that you shouldn't have to sell yourself like a product or prove yourself for your friends to care about you like <laughs> i think you have to know if the people around you aren't giving you or offering you anything it doesn't have to be a physical object but if they're not bringing you happiness or whatever it's not worth sticking around like at the end of the day it's not worth it if you're giving and giving and giving and changing things about yourself so they'll like you and trying to prove yourself and sell yourself and get them to see worth in you that's so sad have you ever tried listening to the song mirrorball by taylor swift <laughs> but yeah my advice would be on this is literally if people around you aren't thanking you or noticing the things you do for them or they just don't care yeah it might be nice they invite you out every once in a while and you're so grateful and oh my god they invited me to go out and then you think about it and you're like that is literally the bare minimum of friendship it's really hard and i think that also when you have the realization that your friends don't care about you the way you care for them it's it's literally like a heartbreak i feel like especially at the age we're at or i'm at and a lot of you guys are too like late teens early 20s friendship 
in college and out of high school when you don't see someone every day is the most eye-opening experience because if they don't ask you to hang out you're not going to see them or if you're not asking them to hang out and if you feel yourself asking and asking and asking and it's every week if you just stopped asking i've done this before where i just stop asking to hang out and i'll go weeks without seeing anyone i'll see just my one best friend and i'm gonna stop doing that kind of stuff in this new year starting now i'm not gonna i'm not gonna try anymore <laughs> Like, I deserve better than running myself ragged for people that would not even give me a morsel of that energy in return. And I feel like you should do the same. And it's really hard to get over and it's honestly like the hardest realization to come to that people just don't care about you like you care for them. It's like really sad. But once you're over that sadness and the realization, just know you're going to find people. I'm in this stage right now where I just like, I have so much hope for the future of me finding people where I'm just gonna like fit in and everything I'm giving is gonna be reciprocated. And I have high hopes for you and I have high hopes for me. We're gonna find that. We're not gonna settle for anything less. New Year's resolution. Okay, I'm finished getting ready, but I just got a notification that I have a package ready to get picked up. So I'm gonna go down and get that and then I'll, I'll show you what it is because I honestly don't remember what I've ordered. Probably from Black Friday or Cyber Monday or something. So I'm excited. Okay, I just picked up my packages. This one's from Glossier, which I did order from on Black Friday. Okay, I got three things. I got one of the bomb.coms because I have this one, like the Swiss Miss brown one. So I got a pink or like reddish one. Oh my God. That's literally the perfect color. Next is Dew Effect Highlighter. And then the last, I got a cream blush the cloud paint i use this one every day but it's really really bright neon red so i got like a darker one it's dark that's what i got from glossier i already know what this is i'm so excited about it and make sure there's nothing on my hands i ordered this matching set from frankie's bikinis i've never ordered from them and i know they're supposed to sell bathing suits and i got like a winter set i saw this on someone's instagram story and i bought it immediately but it's like really light pink who is she wearing color like sweater and sweatpants set that's like knit and it's so cute and then last i ordered from the website cider i've never ordered from them before but i saw someone do a haul on tiktok never heard of this company but they had such cute stuff first i got this top with like the cutest neckline next i got this tank top with these little like pins on it on the sleeves i thought this was gonna be like a corset it's not it's just fabric but it's like corset shaped then i got this black skirt because i don't have a plain black skirt i only have like a black schoolgirl skirt is this a skirt oh it has yeah it has shorts built into it next i got this bodysuit that's like knit do you see that material i just thought it'd be cute for winter time and it's a bodysuit which i don't have anything like that and then i got these tan work kind of pants you actually can't see okay then i got this bodysuit you can't even tell what it looks like but it's like crisscrossed in the front and then the crosses go over your shoulders okay that's everything i got i texted my parents and asked if someone could drive to my school and bring me a car because i don't have a car and i'm, <laughs> I'm trapped here and i really just want to go like thrifting or do something i don't want to be trapped in here with nothing to do i'll start going crazy again when i tell you that zoella doing vlogmas is single-handedly keeping me together breakfast. i've watched her vlogmas since i was like 11 or 12 i was in my old house so i had to be like 11 and now i'm 21 and I watch, I still watch it every year, every day. I look forward to her 30 minute vlog. I just started making my matcha and I realized I should be vlogging this because matcha is my new obsession. So I put a little bit of matcha powder into a little bit of water and then I microwave it because it helps dissolve it. Then take my oatly oat milk, fill that. Then I use this vanilla flavor, just a little bit. A good handful of ice. <laughs> and there you have it. Mm, that's how I make my iced matcha at home. And that's how I make it taste exactly like Starbucks. Because it's the exact Starbucks recipe. It's literally already dark out. I hate that it gets dark by like 5.30pm. Oh my god, when I was living in England, 
it would literally get dark by like four that was crazy i'm so excited because like a few days ago i ordered the dyson air wrap which i've been wanting for like a year and i keep telling myself it's too expensive it's too expensive it's too expensive because it is too expensive but i saw a video on tiktok that was just like the last straw like i had to get it so i treated myself i told myself it was for christmas so i ordered it and it comes i think tomorrow or monday so excited and i hope it comes while i'm vlogging so that i can do my hair with it okay i just decided that i want to go to target because my parents brought me a car to use for the weekend so why not go to target it's only 7 30 i thought it was so much later because it's been so dark for so long but i need tampons so <laughs> i thought i'd make a whole trip of it it's raining but i'm here <laughs> i'm vlogging on my phone because I don't want anyone from my school to see me whip out my vlog camera. Hopefully I don't see anyone I know. Okay, I've secured everything I need. So now I'm gonna look for things I don't need. I didn't end up buying anything like crazy from Target. Like everything I got was like stuff I basically needed. But there's a Barnes and Noble right there. So let's go there. I just know that they purposely put a Barnes and Noble right across the parking lot from Target for girls like me. I mean, actually is it even open? It's 8.30 at night. It looks like people are going inside, so I'm gonna go inside. They rearranged this Barnes & Noble and now I don't know where anything is. <laughs> Guys, I didn't get anything. Tell me you're proud of me. Um, mostly because I just got really overwhelmed and anxious because it was really busy in there for some reason, especially in the sections I was trying to look. It's literally raining on me. But in the sections I was trying to look in, it was so crowded. And I was like, I don't want to take too long because I have stuff that needs to go in the fridge. So let's go home. Um, just got rained on again. Target haul time, toilet paper, wipes. If you don't use these, I don't trust you. I got whitening strips because I wanted to try the Target brand version because the Crest ones were like 50 bucks. The whole reason I went there. And I got more oat milk because I was running low in case of a matcha emergency. Coffee creamer because the one I had this morning tasted like shit. That's everything I got, nothing exciting. Don't think I told you guys, but tomorrow morning, I'm meeting up with someone for coffee. He's actually a guy that went to my high school. We were chemistry lab partners my junior year of high school. And now we're seniors in college and we're gonna meet up and get coffee. So I have to wake up kind of early because we're meeting at like 10 or 10.30 or something. That's my only plan for tomorrow though. I wanted to go thrifting, but we'll see. Good afternoon, everybody. It's the next day. And I didn't vlog this morning because I ended up doing like a TikTok get ready with me. So if you want to see that, my TikTok is at Steph Bohr. I'm gonna start doing more get ready with, get ready's with me. Get ready with me? Get ready with me's on there. But I went to get coffee with my friend and it was really nice to catch up. We haven't seen each other in a really long time. I also just did a clothing haul on my TikTok. So now there's clothes everywhere. And I'm really sad because I ordered a really, really expensive set on Black Friday from Frankie's Bikinis. They sent me two of the same thing instead of the matching set. They sent me two pairs of pants. And I'm so sad. So now I have to send it back and go through the whole hassle of that. And the post office is closed today because it's Sunday. So I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. But for now, Let's go thrift shopping. I'm so excited. Let's go. Okay, I'm here. I don't think I'll vlog much in there because it's like quiet and awkward. Um, but I'll definitely show you if I get anything afterwards. So let's go. Okay, I just got home. Let's do a haul. I only got four things. A very anticlimactic, but let's start off with my favorite thing I got. The new Ali Hazelwood book was there. And it's like completely perfect condition. And it was only two dollars and 29 cents and then another book i got i got this bartending book to give to my parents on christmas because my mom was complaining that my dad didn't know how to make good cocktails so got this for them and i just realized someone's aunt doris's ultimate macaroni and cheese recipe is in there someone's family secret recipe then i got two pieces of clothing i got this like gray and white button down that's really oversized because i like to sleep in men's shirts and then i got this white dress that's backless and i just thought it was really pretty and it was in my size so i was like it's a sign i'll just get it okay it's like an hour later and i feel really accomplished because i just cleaned all my makeup brushes and my beauty blenders and then organized all my makeup drawers so i'm gonna do a makeup drawer tour so i have these shelves from ikea 
They're fucking filthy. Don't look at them through my makeup hands, but this drawer has all my like skin products that I use often mascaras and eyelash stuff all pencils lip liners eyeliner stuff like that and then my everyday lipsticks and lip glosses then these are the makeup brushes i didn't clean i only clean the ones i use daily and they're drying in my bathroom but didn't want to clean all of these but i did clean my beauty blenders this used to be like completely tan and now it's pink again all my powder products that i use on a daily basis and then my setting powders these are like refills and extra stuff that aren't opened yet and then this is all like my primer spf setting spray liquid stuff and eyelashes these are all my palettes and these are all like the collection i built over time and now i don't even do eyeshadow i haven't done eyeshadow in maybe like two years i literally put bronzer and highlighter on my eyes so and now i'm thinking to myself should i go to trader joe's and get another sheet cake but if i do i know i'll eat it in like two days it's probably better for my health to not get one but it's better for my sanity to go get one. Should I go to Trader Joe's? Right now it closes at an hour. I'm gonna lose my parking spot. I don't really care. Like I kinda just really want a sheet cake. Fuck it, let's go get a sheet cake. What the fuck do they put in this thing? Like seriously, this is my new favorite food in the world. Good morning, it's the next day. <coughs> oh my God. Anyway, it's the next day. Good morning. I did a little bit of makeup this morning as I watched the Zoella Vlogmas Day. And now I have to drive all the way to my parents' house to print out a shipping label to mail my clothes that got sent to me wrong and, and to also ship out the giveaway winner books for the My Policeman giveaway. Um, thank you to everyone that entered for that giveaway. I picked the two winners. Look at my puppies. Hi. <laughs> okay, I just got home from my whole post office extravaganza. I mailed out the giveaway stuff, but I just got this package and I wanna show you because it's books. I did a collaboration with the author, K. Author, and then she sent me an ARC. This book doesn't come out till June and I did the cover reveal and now I have the real thing. And you guys know how much I love The Summer of Broken Rules and then this is her second book, so I'm so excited. They also sent me the new published version of Underneath the Sycamore Tree, which I've already read years ago. Like maybe when I was 16, I read this book and now I have the new one. I have the old one somewhere. And then they also sent me Misfit by L. Kennedy, which says a prep novel. Does that mean like prep school? Because intriguing. So thank you, source books. Now I need to tell you about the most traumatic post office experience that I just had. I'm gonna do it as I make my matcha. I went to the post office. I, I've never mailed anything before, so I had no idea what I was doing. Whenever I have to do like new things like that, I get so anxious. So there's like a counter, put everything in the packages. So I'm at the counter, putting all the stuff in the packages before you get in line to get to the real counter where you mail the stuff with the person. So I'm packaging all my stuff up, like trying to fit it into the different packages. Like one of my things doesn't fit into one of the packages, so I have to request a special package, do the shipping labels, all this stuff get back in line i'm like okay calm you did everything you're good i get to the counter the lady's like "Ooh, you put these in all the wrong packages but i had already sealed the packages so i had to pay for those packages and apparently they were like first class packages and i was just doing normal so i had to pay for both packages throw those away i'm holding up the line there's a line out the door and then luckily the lady was like nice because she like helped me and usually like it gives me even more anxiety when the workers aren't very helpful but like luckily she explained like exactly what i had to do Mm. I was able to figure it out eventually, but I, my heart was literally racing. I was about to have a whole panic attack in there. Whenever I have to do new adult tasks, like go to the post office, go to the doctor, talk to any like accountant, it gives me the utmost anxiety. I actually start freaking out. I just got the notification that my Dyson is here. So let's go get it. I'm so excited. Ah, it's here and it's so heavy and I'm gonna open it right now. I'm overwhelmed by this because there's so many pieces, but basically there's this. And then there's like all of these attachments. Oh my god, I didn't get it on camera, but I just did it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh there, there. Oh, I did it! Okay, I think I just finished. Obviously, I don't really know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know how to do the front, really. My hair does feel very voluminous, like... Okay, it's later. I just finished my book and I almost fell asleep and I realized all my lights are on. I haven't taken my makeup off and I haven't finished my vlog. So yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me these past few days. It honestly is the best, most comforting thing ever to just vlog. And then after I post this vlog, read the comments. But yeah, obviously a few days ago, I was really emotional. And now 
I'm a lot better and obviously nothing's gonna change overnight but you gotta give yourself a day to feel your feelings and then move on from them thanks so much for watching this vlog and thank you so much good all for sponsoring today's video again you can check the link in the description to check out their products that are up to 40 percent off and if you want to follow me on my other social medias especially instagram if you want to partake in like question advice kind of things i always mostly post them on there all that is linked in the description but i'll see you in my next video very very soon bye